For the American consumers, we're really not focused on them right now. We're primarily focused on the Chinese tourists, Chinese Canadians, Chinese Americans who are living here and encouraging them to use their wallet. We don't even have to encourage them that hard. They touch the wallet somewhere between 14 and 16 times a day because in the wallet itself, we do more than just payments. So you have the ability to pay utility bills. You have the ability to apply for a marriage license if you'd like, uh, since we're in Vegas and the ability to check your money market fund. I can transfer money and you know, P2P transfers. All these things actually exist as we know in the United States and in North America and Europe. But what we've done that's a little bit different is over the years we've combined everything into one, one wallet, one single sign-on if you think about it that way, and really allowed the consumer to use it as part of everyday life. Again, everything from paying for a cup of coffee to uh, getting on the subway system uh, very seamlessly. For us, they're partners and we collaborate. And people always ask, well, are you competing with banks? And the simple answer is no. We're offering services that some specific banks may not already have. Uh, so we, we view it as complementary. We also view it as an extension of what they're doing today in terms of offering uh, financial services. So we view ourselves as a tech fin company, not necessarily just a fintech, where it's really technology that's driving financial services. And so we view it as complementary. You have to collaborate. Any individual company that thinks that they can really do it on their own is probably not going to succeed too quickly. And if they do, it's going to take them some time. So we took a different approach in taking the time to find the right partners. And we've done so with the likes of First Data, Chase, Verifone, Ingenico, all the kind of big uh, partners that uh, have full exposure to the ecosystem. We partnered with them. We offered our technology as complementary. The reason they liked our technology is the fact that now they can go to their merchants and their consumers and offer them value-added services that they would not have built on their own. So leveraging the ecosystem, uh, understanding the technology that's out there and being able to tie into it is key to our success. The magic word is trust, and the way you build trust is by, by serving the consumers. We have a big mantra at work uh, that says, you know, consumer first, employee second, shareholders third. If you take care of the consumers, employees are happy. And if they're happy and they're fulfilling the, you know, the, their duties, the shareholders will be happy later. So we establish that trust by listening. I mean, we have a really good team that says, okay, what are the use cases? Everything that we do and we launch and we roll out is really based on a use case. So over the years, Ant Financial has grown outside of just Alipay to get into different services around insurance, money market funds, things that didn't really exist. Banks may have offered it, but really we focus on building that bridge and trust as part of a one ecosystem under Ant Financial. And that's really what helped us get to a point where our users are thinking about us 14, 15 times a day in more than just a kind of a payment mechanism. It takes time. Uh, technology is there. Uh, I would encourage people to think of outside the box versus just, you know, we're just offering credit or we're just offering bank services or bill payment. Start thinking about, talk to your users. That's absolutely key and, and very paramount to the success. We're able to take that experience outside of China and now mimic it as much as possible for that individual coming here to the United States.